man, this was a long year. So many different experiences. But it was worth it. It was scary on the start. It still is today. But um, you always learn something. So in this video, I'm going to compress um, most of the tips they give it to me. And some other things that I learned by myself during this year. So I hope you enjoyed and that you learned something. So with no more waiting, I present my year in Ithaca, the survivalist guide. Second, here in Ithaca, the temperature just changed dramatically over nowhere. So you have to be prepared for it with your clothing and looking all the time to weather channels. And some days it's just 80 or 60 Fahrenheit and it just by the afternoon it's like 40 again. One day it was one day was 80 and the next day was snowing for an hour and then that afternoon was 60 again so it's crazy you will see but it's enjoyable so something I learned is I mean I know they probably they tell you this but always try new things and something new and different for me was the arts and craft that here in Ithaca they have that is incredible I took ceramics hand building ceramics wheel throwing and art and painting and drawing and also film photography things that I don't have back in Paraguay and also I took like the class that makes this video possible in English digital media really good classes really incredible programs so you should try all new things in the school and also excited school and they are always going to be offering you um, these activities some of them really weird or most of the time that we offer you to go to hiking places later I will show you some of them of those they are really nice so something they probably didn't tell you but like it's really important is the winter here the winter is terrible and it's like four months of the, of the year so you hit to watch out for it so from where I come from, in air gets below 45 Fahrenheit, so it was hard for me. So hopefully you will see the tips I'm going to give you useful. First, they told me that there is nothing such a bad, a bad, um, a bad temperature, it's just bad clothing. Also, if you have never skied before in your life, go to the Bunny Hill first. Don't try to be manly and all the stuff and go to the big hill. You will get really hard, to believe me. And second, the boots are really, really important. I mean, for me, they are really annoying to walk and stuff, but if you go out in the snow without good boots, your toes kind of freeze. It's not fun. And um, so in winter, I had to walk home. So and what I learned after the third week of winter is that the best thing to have is a nice chocolate mix waiting for me. Home. Um, so when I arrive, I just take out the clothing and hot water, chocolate, mix it, and it's, it's the best. So you always have to have some beverage to warm you up when you come back home. That is really, really nice. And the last tip is enjoy the winter. People here are are always making activities just go with them you know ski make a snowman and um, if you get if you don't want to ski you can always go to depend on where you are you can go to the plantations it's really nice there is a nice hill there you can go so always and en just enjoy it so in the rest of the year like autumn I mean like there in the ideas of the exchange like autumn and spring you will see that people are always running and walking around and so you somebody will tell you but you ask you ask about the hiking trails and the falls they are beautiful and it's amazing how how you can just go and just be there and just believing and relaxing so let's see some of these places
First, coffee to survive during the day and week. Second, be prepared for extreme temperature changes. Third, I was check on the weather channel somehow there. It's really useful, you will see. And fourth, be open-minded. Keep everyone from everywhere and from every kind of family. And always try new things. Fifth, explore all the places that Ithaca has to offer. Hiking places, falls, and museums, the commons. And six, make stunned questions. Always make questions and get close to people. And let them know that you want to talk with them. And for winter, first, get nice clothing. Second, I was happy. I was always have hot chocolate and some hot beverage with you. And third, get some skis and try to ski at least once. Especially if you come from a place and there is no snow like I do. So, that was all. I hope you enjoyed the video. So, um, I hope you enjoy your year in Ithaca if you come over here. So, good luck. Bye.